hello hello we have our ball and we have our ground now onto the physics so first thing you'll notice is that whenever you create objects they come with these things called colliders if you know english you'd know that colliders help two objects collide with each other let's take this for example if i disable the mesh collider here and then play the game the ball passes through the plane and there is no collision and if i turn it on the ball knocks onto the ground and it hits it and that's to allow collision you need collision if you want two objects to interact with physics you want to have two objects that don't phase through each other then you need a collider and it comes by default once you make an object so there you go there's different types of collider sphere collider for this object mesh collider basically works for everything but to target the one that's gonna work on to the next component rigid body all right the rigid body is basically what adds physics it's what adds gravity to an object all right without the rigid body component you'll notice that no physics is there no gravity no interaction no nothing to allow interaction you're gonna have to add a rigid body component to whatever object you want to add gravity and interaction to whatever object you want to add gravity and physics to let's say the mass for this is 10 it uses gravity okay and once you press play it actually interacts with the ground so basically what interpolate does is it smooths out your physics okay it's not gonna be snappy it's gonna be smooth and realistic it's gonna be good looking okay it's gonna be smoothed out it's not gonna be snappy it's not gonna look bad so always have this on interplay and collision detection is self-explanatory how it detects the collision discrete as regular intervals continuous constantly detects it let's say you have a fast object for example a bullet if you have discrete it's just gonna go through the wall even with continuous bullets and fast objects go through walls but if you want to completely nullify this in my experience continuous dynamic works the best continuous dynamic makes it so that it constantly checks for collisions and it doesn't face through walls it's the best option in my opinion as for constraints it's self-explanatory you can freeze position if you play the physics is not gonna affect its position now if i turn it off it will otherwise it won't and you can also freeze the rotation of this if you don't want your character to rotate but still have gravity and physics then you can freeze rotation let's take for example a new object you let's call this player all right this is our player now let's press play as you can see it bounces around right so if you want to freeze the rotation what's what it's going to do is it's going to freeze the axis at which it's falling so freeze rotation basically freezes the rotation it won't rotate but physics is still going to apply Look at that, it doesn't rotate, but the physics still applies, okay? And now on to physics materials. Create physics material, let's call this physics mat bounce. Okay, well, it's self-explanatory. It gives material to your ball, physics material, how it's gonna interact with the environment. You basically drag it and drop it in the collider, physics material, right? Okay, now let's check this out. You can add bounciness to it. Let, let's say I add one bounciness. And you can change the friction, you can change the bounce, it basically applies uh, physics to your thing. You can elaborate what type you want. It's gonna bounce now. So it basically applies physics to your materials and you can know out how it's gonna interact with the environment. There you go, bouncing. Anyways, that's all there is to physics. Hope this short video helped you out in any way. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, I'll see you later.